Hello, I present Merida Big 9 500 Lite from 2019 in size medium. It is the highest model of Merida Hardtail designed for XC riding and of course you can get it in aluminium option like this one and carbon one. Interestingly, for last 4 years this frame has been practically the same and the only change was the color of paint job. In 2023 this 500 is more like 300 version and now its price has increased by over 300 euros. Bike was designed in Germany, but produced and welded in Taiwan. It has a very nice polish weld, hydroform and batted aluminium tubes 6066 series, press fit bottom bracket which after 4 years and few thousand kilometers do not creak and has no play. Of course, at this price level bike has obligatory boost hub spacing and some interesting systems, like rear triangle with flex state technology, where its tubes have a special shape, so they could bend slightly and dampen vibrations. I'm not sure if it makes any sense in aluminium hardtail frame, but maybe it's because I'm used to ride on full suspension bike. Who knows, maybe in carbon option it works better. For me, also a great attraction is system of internal cable routing called Smart Entry. They are specially designed aluminium quite heavy bolted inserts, which when accidentally fall into the frame can be easily pulled out through the down tube exit port which is extremely similar to the one from Specialized Chisel I reviewed in my previous movie. But a rumor says that Merida and Specialized have a lot in common. Big 9 is equipped with solid and durable Shimano Dior 6000 series 2x10 drivetrain and what is worth noting, cranks are in better and more expensive Holotech 2 system. SR Santor 4, which traditionally looks and works like Santor, and the only thing that leaked out of it during all service was a cup of water, of course has to be equipped with Kulok Axle, which I don't like either. This is how to open it. To take it off, press the end part and turn it to adjust its length. The rest of accessories, like a seat clamp, seat post and saddle, stem, grips and handlebar with even nice geometry, I branded by Merida. This 500 differs from stock bike only with rear tire and weighs over 13.5 kg. My task was to make the bike livelier, lighter, simpler and more comfortable. That is why I replaced Maxxis icons with faster, more durable and resistant Continental Race King tires with a pure grip compound. I simplified old 2x10 drivetrain and saved almost 400 grams thanks to the narrow wide decas chainring. And I achieved more upright position due to the shorter stem and M wave handlebar with a higher rise and bigger bend. You can find links to these parts in the upper right corner and in the description. After these changes, weight of the bike with Topic water bottle cage and ring bell dropped below 13 kg. Of course, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't persuade the new owner to make further upgrades, because Big 9 has a lot of potential and I think that after changing the anchor in the front, called fork, to million times better RockShox Riba and buying light DT wheels, its weight could drop around 11 kg, and that would be a really nice result for aluminium bike with regular parts and not even a gram of carbon. In my opinion, Merida could easily compete with more expensive Specialized Chisel, Giant XTC or Scott Scale.
Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!